Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you how to check if weak passwords are used in your SAP system. We need the software Hashcat and some password hashes from the SAP system. Then we will try to crack them. A note in advance, please only do what you are allowed to do on your system or clarify this with the basis or security team. I open a web browser to download the software Hashcat. We need the Hashcat binaries. So we download this. And then we have, uh, I show you the hash types. I search for SAP and we see we can crack SAP hashes. So I extract the Hashcat zip to a folder. Then I rename the folder because I use this in the terminal and I copy the Hashcat folder directly to my C drive. So next we need a dictionary. So I download rockyou.txt. I found this on a GitHub repository. I download this file as well and I extract it. Then I open the txt file to check if there are some passwords in it. Yes, we see a lot of passwords in this file. Then I close it and I copy this file to the Hashcat folder too. Okay, then we can close this windows and we log into our SAP system to get some hashes. So I open the table USR02 and there are three available hashes, B code, then passcode or the password sorted hash. So let's check if there are some hashes stored. No B code hashes, that's good. No passcode hashes, that's good. And only the sorted hash, so it's only the strongest hash. So we copy this uh, hashes and we create a txt file here. And I paste the hash information in it and I save the file. So, but I have uh, already created example hashes for B code and passcode and I paste these files to the hashcat folder as well. So if we use P code and passcode, we need a special format, the username, dollar sign and the hash itself. Password sorted hash, we only need the hash. So, and now let's open a terminal. And I go to my hashcat folder and then I type hashcat minus m7700 for the SAP B code hashes, then the file with the B code hashes and the dictionary file. Then I click on enter and the cracking begins. And we see some hashes are correct now. I have to say that this example hashes is from a development system of mine. And so an often used password is test. So I quit this crack and let's check the data. We see the, the hash here and the password. Okay, so let's try the cracking with the passcode hashes. So I write here hashcat minus m7800 for the passcode hash, then the passcode hash file and the dictionary. Then I press enter. And we wait a little bit. And we see hashes are cracked again. We see the hashes are quite longer, but that means nothing. I stop this cracking now and we see the cracked uh, passwords 
like ASDF1234 or David1234 and so on. So the last uh, hash is the sorted hash. This is the strongest available hash in the SAP system. So let's try to crack this hash with the command hashcat minus M103300 and so on. And as you see, I'm here, my SAP system is on an old desktop PC with an onboard Intel graphic card. And Hashcat works with the GPU. But I think this computer is too weak to crack these uh, sorted hashes. So we should wait a little bit longer. But I think I should abort this cracking. Yes, yes, I abort this crack and I switch to a stronger PC, to a stronger computer. Here we are. I type here the same command, hashcat minus M. 10300 minus A and so on. So I have here an AMD Radeon RX 6600 graphic card. And this card is much faster. Okay, but I see the status is exhausted. No hashes are correct. Why? Okay, I see the info mess message here. Removed four hashes found as pod file entries. Okay, I have cracked here uh, already these four hashes. So I have to rename the pod file on the right side so that the system cracked these hashes again. And I restart the crack operation with the same uh, command. And now let's, let's wait. And we see, yes, uh, sorted hashes we can crack sorted hashes as well why because the passwords are too weak we see for example office or youtube so what can we do uh, against this uh, weak passwords there are some options first uh, we have to prevent the unauthorized access to the operating system and the database then we should um, limit access to tables where hashes are stored, like the table USR01. Then we can configure strong password policies, search for the parameter's password. And last, read the SAP node 1237762 for more information against password hash attacks. So um, if you like such videos, please subscribe to my channel, leave me your opinion about this video in the comments. I hope you will be back for the next video. Greetings and see you soon.